<laughs> okay, so the trade deadline, as you know, is, is quickly upon us here. And there are some teams that seem to just be stuck. Chicago being one of them, 22 and 25, ninth in the East right now. And we know the rumors. We've talked about them. It's, it's like two seasons now with the, the Levine and the DeRozan and all that. But they played a little bit better lately. Blow so are we blowing it up? Okay. Blow it. Blow it all the like way this. up. Blow it up. If, okay. Listen, if you're going to let Zach Levine go, free DeMar DeRozan as well. This is my position is coming from free. a personal place. I want to see my brother have an opportunity to compete at the highest level in the later years of his career. I don't want to see him be wasted away there with floating, floating around in the eighth or ninth spot. Give DeMar DeRozan an opportunity to compete at a high level. Blow it up. Yeah, and this has been rumored since last year, and the team oh, yeah. just haven't done it. They re-signed the contract extension to Billy Dobbins, so they have their coach moving forward. And this is a team where it's not like a, a young team, like a San Antonio or a building team. This team is, po is poised to win right now, and they're yeah. not winning. It's not working no matter what, what the system is, the offense, the character of the guys, whatever. This hasn't worked. You can get a lot for these guys, too. They're talking about you can get two first-round picks for Alex Caruso. Imagine what you can get for DeMar DeRozan, for Levine, for Vooch. So they have assets that teams want. Blow it up because they're not competing this year. Okay, that's two right there for blow it up right off the top. How about the Nets next? Uh, 19 and 27, they're 10th in the East, and there are... There's interest in Dorian Finney-Smith, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Mikael Bridges. Hmm, go send him to the Knicks. Um, blow that up, too, I guess. That's that sound effect you're doing. We'll blow it up more than Chicago. At least Chicago has vet guys that can go and surprise a team in a playoff series right now. This team has no chance to win. I love Mikael Bridges. I think beside and Cam Johnson saw it as well. Hmm. And the best thing for them is that Ben Simmons continues to do what he did last night. Because with that contract, they have he's got a hold on on you know their situation there. But yeah, guys like Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, these are guys that contenders want. These are guys that contenders can use. They have even more pieces, I think, than Chicago. They're not going to win with everything with the with Kyrie and KD and James. This team oh, is now in full blown rebuilding mode. Blow it up. Guys will always want to come to New York and free let me, agency. Let me ask you a question. Who do you think the best players on on who on the Brooklyn Nets? Bridges. You think Mikhail Bridges? Okay, I, I agree with you. I don't I don't know if we blow it up. I think we refocus. Who do we build this team Again. around? Yeah, when I say blow it up, I mean keep him, keep other yeah, pieces, I, and I then get you, something well, back for, for Dinwiddie, for right. Dorian Finney. I think you keep you keep Mikhail Bridges, you keep the two cams, and you build you build from yeah. there. And so I, I think they just need to recenter their attention on some of these younger guys opposed to uh, I love I love Spencer Dinwiddie, but I think it's Mikael Bridges' team. I love Dorian Finney-Smith. I think you can get something valuable for him. The two cams are still very young. You build around those three pieces and keep moving. And again, they're talking New York. You're always going to be in on free agents. All right, so that's a build it up, I heard. All right, we're split on that one, kind of, sort of. Uh, Hawks, Lou, 1927, 11th in the yeah. East. And the names in that, of <laughs> course, are DeJounte Murray and Bogdanovich. Um, build it up or blow it up? This is tough for me. Um, this is this is tough for me. I want to see this. I want to see this organization be successful, um, like no other. They embraced me at the end of my career. I thought I wasn't going to enjoy my time there, um, but I ended up loving my experience with the teammates and, and building with those guys. But I think it's time to blow it up. I think it's time to uh, to reset. You know that group has been together for a number of years now. Have had a lot of highs. Have had a lot of lows. And right now. They're at an extreme low in a year that they're supposed to be turning the corner and being more successful. You know, we're two years away, two years out yeah. from our Easter Conference Finals appearance. And so for this to be basically the same group sitting in 11th in the East, it's not working. Blow it up. And this team isn't that young anymore. You look at guys like DeAndre Hunter, Trey Young, like they've been in the league now for enough time to expect wins. And it hasn't translated to that. When you look at this team, they have the talent. They have the guard play. They have Capella and Akongwu. 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 Nailed it. They have the, I love Bogey too. Like they have Sadiq Bey. They, it's, it, it doesn't make sense to me that this team's not winning games right. because they have a little bit of everything. So on the blow up side, I do They've think, changed coaches. Like it's everything. They've, they've, yeah. They've they've all the, two, all the tools are there. It's just not working. So I don't think they have to blow it up per se, but I think <laughs> they have enough pieces and assets to move two or three of them and still be in an okay who place. Do you, who do you move? Yeah. Who, if you I mean, DeJounte move. Murray, I think, is the obvious one. He's one. But, like, what do they do with Trey Young? There's, like, is he their guy still? Is he? It, yeah. If they move Trey Young, that's blowing it up. That's, yes. But then you still have the Jalen Johnsons, the, the, right. the other players that you don't have to go through this full tank 
rebuild mode. And what can you get for Trey Young right now? That's kind of interesting question. to me. Can you go and get two or three starting level players for him or is stock so low? You can't, are you gonna build through the draft and just stack up assets like Oklahoma City did? I, I think they have so much talent that even if they do decide to trade two of these guys, they're in an okay place. All right, all right, Raptors 16 and 30 this season. They're 12th in the East. And of course, we already know that Siakam and OG are out. Uh, are they, is this the, they're blowing it up in process? I feel like they already right have. Now? Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, is that what we're doing? Just finish the job. They got this one guy, and his name's Scotty Barnes. And yeah. Everyone else is, is on the, the chopping block. So I think they're already in the process of it. They already, already moved Siakam, they move OG, they get back assets like RJ Barrett. But this is a team that, again, they're also, they have the talent. So it's not like we're looking at like a Charlotte or a Washington that's just stuck with these horrible contracts. They're not going to win for a long time. They have solid players. So I, I, when you say blow it up, I don't mean blow it up and go for the number one pick because they're so talented. They're still right. going to win certain games. But Scottie, That's almost worse sometimes. Yeah, it's because you're kind of stuck in the middle like Chicago has been the last two or three years where you're like, you're not a contender, but you're in like this play-in situation. You're not bad enough to go get a you know top five pick. So there are kind of a lot of teams in this gray area. The gray area. Six. Uh, the Jazz, 24 and 24. Well, that, that right there, you're just stuck. 10th uh, <laughs> in the West. So they got Jordan Clarkson, Colin Sexton, Lori Markinen. Do you keep all three? Do you blow this entire thing up, start over? What do you do here? It's a tricky one. You know what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe by the end of my statement, I'll have it figured out. But if, <laughs> if, if you're 24 and 24 in the West with so many good t teams playing good basketball, yeah. That's pretty decent. I don't, I don't think they're playing a, they're playing under par. I think they're they're playing pretty decent basketball considering the circumstances. You got about six or seven teams in front of you that's supposed to be in front of you with where you are with talent wise and, and where your where your group is. And so I don't know if you blow it up, you have a lot of good pieces, but I'm curious to see what they do at the deadline to see if they can get better or get some pieces for for a Colin Sexton or a, a Laurie Marketing or somebody there. So I don't know if you blow it up. I, I build it. They had that stretch too. Yeah. Last year, if you remember, they had that kind of Orlando yeah. this year type start where it's like, whoa, what are we doing? I don't even think they realized that, that was possible. Lori Markkinen kind of turns into this household name all where star. he's an all-star. So I don't think they blow it up. I think if you can, sure, go give, go get Jordan Clarkson and go get some things back. Young to grow with the Walker Kesslers, with the Keontae George, these young asses they have, sure. But again, now there's a reason we're asking about these teams because they're all stuck in this area where... And the they're not quite good. The but Lakers are a 500 team. We're not right. saying blow it up for the Lakers. Uh, this fair. this team doesn't have the expectation level that the Lakers do, and they're still right there at 500 as well. So I say you build it. And there's just different. Like I think the Lakers, no doubt, can still win a playoff series. I don't think the Utah Jazz can win a playoff series. That's this the difference. You know what I mean, like there's a there's a big difference. This last one did not see having to ask this in the last several years, but the Warriors, 19 and 24, 12th in the West. Um, I, to say they're trying for a fifth ring, obviously they're trying, but that, not like this. This has to be blown up, right? Well, yeah, then let's face the facts. They're not gonna win a championship with this core anymore, and that sucks and that's sad, but this dynasty, again, we almost should stop talking about it because it's just not the same. No, it's sad. Are they really going to blow it up and trade Clay Thompson and trade Jeremiah Green? Probably not. So then the question is, who do they get rid of? What can they get back for an Andrew Wiggins? What can they get back for anybody else? I'm trading everybody if I'm them except Kaminga and Steph Curry. Kaminga has now showed me enough where he's a building block for the future. He's versatile, he's so young, he's athletic as hell. I'm keeping him. Everyone else, figure it out, but we have to find a way to maximize Steph Curry for the next two or three years. And they can go and get free agents that want to play with Steph Curry for the next two or three years. So yeah. again, I think, who can they get for those guys? Are they really gonna kind of shake up the world and trade Clay Thompson? Like I can't, I just can't see it. But it's probably the best option at this point. I think it that's the only shocking. option. Yeah. Wow. I, I think that's I think that's the only option at this point. Like I I, I like to compare it to Kobe. You know, you have mm -hmm. such a successful run with Shaq and that that group, and then years later, it's not going your way. They bring in a Pau Gasol. They bring in all of these other pieces and give you another opportunity to have a championship run, and it and it worked, and it was successful for them. So I think that's the route you go for for Steph Curry. You give him one more chance. You give him one more hurrah with a completely different group. Oh, this is a this is a a, a a one organization. 
if Clay Thompson or Draymond to, were to be moved, I'm sure they'll give them an opportunity to be successful and compete somewhere. End of an era, it would be. By the way, Kaminga moving up to the untouchables list, that's something. You that's know what, progress. I wasn't a big fan. I watched him play well, during that time that Draymond Green was out, and he can play. He's getting more confident, he's getting, he's so bouncy, he moves without the ball, he plays well, he knows his game, he doesn't take really bad shots, he doesn't even take a lot of perimeter jump shots. And he's so young. If that keeps developing, he can turn into something real special. That was almost sincere sounding. Joking. There he goes. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, which of today's defensive players could slow down Prime MJ? Oh, I love these. I love them. Run it over. Run it back. Run it over. Run it back. Run it over. Run it back.